Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Keep the Game, and we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, last episode we got the thingy generator down. Yes, we defeated the Apocrypha generator, now Shulk is back at his normal power. And even stronger. And even stronger, yes. And we also defeated a very interesting, uh, unique monster last episode. Yeah. We also got Fiora's, like, another weapon for Fiora, which is not as good as we had it, but yeah. Today we're just gonna go and uh, defeat Ego. Ego. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the good old classic party, just because I want to. Alright, here we go. Put that phone away. I'm sorry, I was the So, <laughs> you worms have finally arrived. Agil! Stop the Maconis! There has to be a way for us to live in peace! There's no reason for us to fight! You must stop this now! My reasons are clear and truer than yours. What's that? Look, it's Bionis! May the roar of the Maconis. Be the wrath of my people. How many? Huh? How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Ekil, you'll regret this! Brother, stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us put an end to our torment! It ends when I say it ends! I will end our curse by destroying the world! You must realize that is not Lady Maynard's wish. That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world! Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Homs girl is no longer our god. This world no longer has a need. For gods! Egil! Stop it! Face me, Shulk, successor of Xanta. I'll crush the Bionis and spread its ashes across the world. Then I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. Alright, here we go! Okay, so this battle, uh, usually you're over here fighting enemies where you cannot get advantage of uh, doing backslash and still dead and all that You do have like an entire arena that you can run around him, but you, cannot, you can only hit him on this part. Just, uh, prepare for righteous chastisement! Just gonna bind me? That sucks actually. Continual model, I don't know what that does. Arch seal, fuck me. Let me go and uh, encourage. I was immune to Arc seal for some kind of reason. Doesn't add too much. This guy in general is not too bad. It's just that a certain point in the battle that I can be a little bit scared. Well, it's it is a pretty, it's a pretty important boss battle, yeah. Yeah. Oops, I didn't want to do this. Um, so he just created more mecha. Which are now fighting us. Uh, let's go and uh, focus on these guys. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, good, you know, might be What the hell is going on? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, Charlotte's dead. Yes, but I can't move. Well, no shit. Okay, kill these fuckers and get our shit back going. Alright. There we go. Let's focus back on this way. My god, that was really close. Yeah. Okay, I didn't expect this actually. I thought this boss was gonna be easy. Manufacture. Are you kidding me? Stop manufacturing your drones. You suck. Okay, focus on these guys. Kill him as fast as we can. There we go. Energy device. We need to take care of these things. This is the part I was talking about. Biola slash 10. 
infin in infinite damage. Saved by Honest. Defeated three energy devices uh, around Yalaba. So we have to destroy these things. If you don't and this timer runs out, it's done. Game over. This is the reason why this battle is a little bit scary. Okay, let's focus on that guy. And he also slows you, so this like it's built around like slowing you down and making it so you cannot defeat these things. Alright, Chuck. Finish him off. We go lively little lightsaber. There we go. Okay, next one. I think it only does this once in the battle. Okay. So after he's done this, he's it's just like back to fighting him normally. So for the time being. They're having some issues back there. Doesn't matter too much. We saved by us. Good. And now he's dazed. Now everybody is in a good mood. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them fight. You know what? No. I'm just gonna use the chain attack. But can I actually topple you? I think he might be immune to breaking. Oh. You know, since I feel like doing a lot of damage, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, wait for them to run over here. And there we go. Sword drive. Give me a headshot. Headshot? Yeah, sure, yeah. Headshot. Didn't get a continuation, even though these people have amazing freaking stuffs with each other. Doesn't matter too much. Chastise. It's gonna be shitty. Okay, let me go. Oh, you're. What, when are you. When were you freaking toppled? Really? Of course she's gonna go for her. And I can actually not go over to her because I'm binded to the floor. I'm gonna kill you in a in second. <laughs> there you go. Let me go and use uh, Light Heal. Okay, you're just gonna use Heal Blast when I use Light Heal. Okay. Don't care. And if I can go in again. Man, that's an annoying attack. Take care of the ads. You know what? He's almost dead. There you go! Alright. A lot more close calls than I expected. For the Emperor. For my home! You must find your Monado. Are you ready? Are you feeling hungry, eh? Chew on this, scrap Did for you brain! Even kill a hom, Mr. Beatus! Megil, that once wished only I to break the circle of suffering. Until I've he believed each and every one of you! Mena, the villagers, everyone loved you. Every person. Yes, that is why they wished to live alongside you. It. The way it's it is so what clear. you want. To Mena, and to me. <sighs> no! This isn't what I want! Shulk! No! Why didn't you do it? K 
killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized that we both share the same pain. Egil, I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... we understand each other. Okay? <sighs> you have used the Monado well. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Maconis and Bionis once lived in harmony. They coexisted in peace, without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas, I am not very good at answering such questions. Have you never thought about it? Never contemplated what lies beyond this world? Beyond this world? <laughs> Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young and unable to leave the Bionis or the Meconis. Say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds. Worlds we have never imagined by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes, I too desire this, Aglas. Everybody shared the belief that the prosperity of our two worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done were it not for the Monado. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Meconis, or rather, the existence of anything but itself. And one day, it took control of my friend, Arglas and he became Zanza. It was Arglas possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. We can live in peace again. Again? I see. Yes, you're right. No! 
Shouldn't have done that, little brat. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, what an amazing moment to save. <laughs> what? Dixon? Of all people? Just continue to watch. What? Shulk! <sighs> Dixon! Why? Why? Old man! Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job, as always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanthus That's how we know all this. Disciple. Zanthus disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanthus' return. Hulk. Get away from him! No! Ah! Sansa! I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ose Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What? My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. 
call that corpse a friend? Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gado's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! Ah! <sighs> There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynith, the Maconis! to exist by the wrath of my blade it's the monado i'll show you the meaning of wrath Is a side meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right now, yeah. How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me, and it shall be returned. unleashed your Monado. And there was me thinking you would die with dignity. I finally understand. The futures of our children belong to them alone. Though we are their creators, their lives are theirs to control. 
Even if the passage of fate is as you have decided, I will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanzer, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! We won't let you erase everyone's futures! This battle is mine, Maynard! Ah. Uh. Now we have a little bit of a battle with you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's a total 180, isn't it? The Dixon part, I definitely didn't expect. I expected something to be going on in the back. Like when I was first playing this game. But I did not expect this happening. You never got this. Yes, I did. I completed the game. Okay. I'm talking about my first experience of the game. Of course, my first experience uh, with um, my first experience was just with the story of this game. Well, yeah, the thing is, it's weird that they so much. It is very weird. Yeah. Well, weird. I just, I just thought it was like this wise old part. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning. At a certain point, it was like, huh, he's, he has something to do with all, like in the background or whatever, together with Atlas yeah. and the other INTL lady. But, oh yeah, let's let continue. Let the story continue to explain. <laughs> Something wrong. Is this the height of your skill? You call yourself a god. And you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria. Clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god. Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god made of you. May you rot in that shell for all eternity. Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Zanza! Maynard! Such a fool. This is... What I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. Is the passage of fate. Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us.
<laughs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation. Just give it a sec. <laughs> the... the Bionis? That light! What's happening now? <laughs> Vanea. I'm sorry. I was. I understand. I always knew it might come to this. Go, Vanea. Do what you must, while there is still time remaining. All hope is not lost. No! You must come with me! I, too, have something that I must do. <laughs> the final wish, trusted to me by Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh, now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Negil. Go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shaw. Got it. Ah, uh, you okay? Yes. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Thundern, what about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone. Goodbye, my brother. So yeah, everything you ever knew is wrong. Hmm, <laughs> I like the fact that the game does this. It's crazy. Like, you have like the 180 moment with like Fiorb still being alive. Yeah. At the end then, of Prison Night, and then this. This, this is pretty freaking insane, isn't it? I do like it though. Yeah. Even though it is a little bit like, some people might not like the idea of like, the same as they do it in Final Fantasy most of the time, it's like, oh, just fighting another god. But it gets explained, like everything gets, still gets explained. Yeah. So this is also the reason why I, uh, like you were saying, like, this, yeah, because this is the final boss, I'm like, hmm. nope. Hmm. Hell no, there's still uh, a decent amount of stuff to do. We are very, very close to the end game though. Oh, yeah. very close, well, pretty dang close. After we're done with this, there's supposed to be an area that we're supposed to explore. Do a couple of quests. Then it's one more area, which we're gonna go through and then fight the final boss. Hmm. But it's gonna take a while before we get there, though. Okay. It's gonna take a bit. And after that, it's just post-game stuff. A lot of really interesting and very difficult quests. Fighting some really crazy cool monsters. And a super boss at the end. Yeah. I'm gonna have to uh, farm the living shit out of Affinity. No, I'm not looking forward to that, but oh well. It needs to be done. Yeah. I am noticing that it's re getting like really late for me to continue doing commentary. 
Yeah, it's... Whoa. It's almost 2 o'clock. Yeah. I'm falling flat. <laughs> but uh, I want to get like a little bit further, I guess. And then we'll stop. Yeah, yeah. Wait, who else in my party? Dumbat and Ryan, that's not a good idea. Let's go and get Charla. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, whenever I hear this music, I have to think about the moment when the Kali Niners attacked. Yeah. Every single time. Alright, let's get the living shit out of here. Also, don't just want to end it off right now. That would be dumb. Looks like it's all over. Yep, I know uh, I know. even though I wasn't there. I want to thank you for what you did for my son. But we have to escape first. Shall we go back to the village? Go back to the village! Let's get the living shit out of here! On our cool ship. Yeah. Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives. Even when there is no hope for you! Both our worlds. You must succeed, Lady Mayna. This is also the reason why you cannot do stuff in McConnell's anymore. Because it's down. Yeah, that makes a heck of a lot of sense. <gasps> the McConnies! Thank you. <sighs> Look, Starboard! What's that cloud? Getting away! Dixon! What a day. <laughs> it's oh, over. Be ready to use that one. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this, ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eggle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple, Dixon of the Trinity! Right, let's fucking do this. Fight myself, uh... And I don't know these boys. Well, yeah, the, the first of oh, many characters. So yeah, 
From this point onwards, um, you're gonna be fighting a, a metric buttload. Buttload? Yeah, sure enough. Please. Metric buttload of freaking Telethia. Hmm. It's actually really annoying because Telethia are a pain in the ass to fight. I just yeah. noticed that I. Oh yeah, I don't. Of course, right now I don't have Shulk also, so I'm not a perch. It's not gonna help me when I use Soul Reed. So I'm gonna be missing a bit of attacks when they do, when they do that. My god, it's getting ridiculous today. I'm losing every piece of commentary I have in my body. Because particles. Hmm. What do you mean? What's that? Ah, crap, guys. Pop on me. Soul Reed! Fuck me. Right, if you want to cancel Soul Reed, um, you can leave now, yeah. Whatever. Hmm. I totally forgot about this. Should have remembered this. I needed to get Melly in a party to get. I just used Mind Blast at first. I remembered this battle being a pain in the butt. And now I remember why. Hmm. Okay, it's okay. It's not a battle I have to win. Good. All right. That's great because I didn't want to fight this guy anyway. No, no, no. <laughs> you waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? <sighs> who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis. He shot Shulk in the back. Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right? Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't, Lorathea. Awaken, my darling pets. Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. 
That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pet. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. <laughs> of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything is going to shit. <sighs> hmm. This is so much information at the time. Um the next part of my thing is called A New Age. <laughs> the next freaking uh part of my document. Which makes oh. a lot of sense. Hey, we saw this in the vision. We're in space! Where am I? Oh. So I'm... What was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? The game actually remembers the outfits you're wearing for different boss battles. Which is freaking awesome. Even though that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that scene. <laughs> like, just a second ago? Yeah. Doesn't matter. No. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along, I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say... Pointless? <gasps> that voice... <gasps> Nobody else can decide that. Only you. I'm confused. <laughs> it's the perfect word to call this entire episode. I'm confused. 
That's just that I'm confused. Yeah. This part of the game is a bit mind blowing and needs some explaining. Shulk. Hey, Shulk is moving. Here. He's breathing, yeah. Nicole made you a wonderful new weapon. Since you lost your Monado, I mean. It uses the latest Machina technology. Use it when you wake up. Then, let's all go on living. According to Zanza, Shulk just doesn't have a soul right now. Or his soul is in a limbo. So his body's still alive. We relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon yeah. refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part Homs like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Callion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was going to happen. Precisely. And Melia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once High Entia. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the souls stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shook. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sansa's gonna pay for this. What if the Telethia attack? Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis, whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Fiora. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Hmm. <sighs> This is, I think, a point where I'll end the episode. Um, next episode, or at least off-camera in any case, I'm gonna... If there's any questions you have, ask them, I'll explain them. And uh, next episode we're gonna go and...
continue with the game. Well, we could go only six. Well, yeah, we're in the lake. Of Colony 6. Everybody's here right now. Huh. So, yeah, the entirety, or like, not the entirety, but let me go and take a look at the affinity chart for a second. So, if you take a look, actually, let me take a look at the party affinity for a second. Mm. Mm. Well, oh, would you look at that? They finally have green affinity, Fiora and Charlotte. Yeah. That's quite good. Yeah, cool. Um. Oh crap, what am I doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go and zoom out on the affinity chart. So, if you take a look at this side over here, you can see that a lot of the high end here that are on the affinity chart are deceased. They're just gone. Well, they turned into Telefia. Like, all of the full blooded high end here turned into Telefia. And all of the half. Uh, Iantheus are still alive. But they're not in Alchemoth. Alchemoth is... That is the reason why you needed to complete Alchemoth. All the quests in Alchemoth, are, if, I wanna, if you want to do it, it's right now or never. Because the entirety of it... Oh, the entirety of the Iantia has been wiped out. Well, most of the been in any case. Yeah. So yeah. Aside from that, um... Since the Bionis has moved, mm -hmm. also has been hit in a couple of places, it opens up new areas. This is also the point in the game, or at least after a certain point, or when we get shield back basically. Um, from that point onwards, uh, or I think from this point also, but you want the entire party by, by that point, I guess, you can fight uh, the super bosses. Hmm. They appear at that point. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do. First, I have to go and see about getting Shulk back, keeping Colony 6 safe, and then also, um, well, yeah, then it's just the rest of the story, really. Yeah, sure. But there you go. I'll watch the end of the episode and we'll talk a little bit more off camera if you need okay. some, if you need yourself some answers. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye!